Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obi Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we are checking out World Turtles, which is, I guess, a city builder, base building type game that is set on the back of a turtle. Uh, it's it's kind of... Yeah, it's kind of in the name. Anyway, uh, let's jump into the game. Uh, and the first thing that I should probably say uh, is that this is a demo. Uh, you can check out the demo uh, right now. Uh, it is going to be an early access game at some point. Uh, there is no timetable on that. And to be honest, I think that that is a good thing uh, because uh, this game undoubtedly needs uh, a little bit of work. Also, the game does decide to keep turning the music up on me. So let's just, uh, let's just take it all down a little bit so that we can have a little bit more of a chilled out experience here. Uh, okay, so the first thing to note about this game is that the user interface is tough. Um, is tough to understand. Uh, also, uh, graphical fidelity, I would say, is, um, interesting. I mean, I don't know if you can, I can't zoom in any further to show you the, the, you know, the, the quality of these people's faces, but certainly the terrain looks nice, if not the, the people in the terrain. Anyway, uh, if we zoom out here, you can actually see that uh, somehow these people, I, I believe they are called Meeps, uh, have ended up on the back of a turtle, which is uh, fantastically animated. And if I unpause here, uh, we can see the turtle, you know, flapping through space, or uh, it's got to be space, right? I mean, this is just a blown up JPEG of the Andromeda Galaxy or whatever in the background. There are uh, there are baby turtles, or maybe there's just a far away turtle. I I don't I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's get back to building. Let's get back to building the city. So we got a whole bunch of people around here. Uh, basically, what the situation is, as you can see in the mini map in the uh, in the bottom right hand corner, uh, we've got a founder's hex, and that's like the I guess the starting area. We got a couple of things uh, already already uh, already in the stockpile. Uh, we got some wood, we've got some stone, we've got some shard, uh, which is uh, which is kind of interesting as well. We've got some iron and we've got some alloy as well, which is uh, which is kind of nice, uh, but also not available in the demo. And given that this is a demo, there's a couple of things that we will uh, that we will not be able to do. But that's not necessarily the end of the world. Uh, okay, uh, the progression system is. <laughs> Look at this dog. Look at the dog. Look at the dog. Um, I don't think I've ever seen such a derpy dog. Anyway, the, the progression system is is this, and it's a little... Yeah, it's a, it's a little funky. Um, basically, everything that is showing as a picture, we can build right now. We need to try and discover the other things around here this is it's just it's just bonkers believe it or not i have actually played a little bit of this game and i'm, I'm trying to explain to you uh what the heck is going on but it is difficult just wait until you see the build menu um that will that will really leave you wanting anyway uh so we can build a wanderer's cabin we can build a builder yard uh we can build a woodcutter's lodge and we can provide uh, sorry we can build a stone masons right so i think that we're going to do that in the uh, in the first instance here let's go into the build menu yes this is indeed the build menu uh we need to go into uh gathering that's right and then we go woodcutter yeah, leaves, leaves, um, rather a lot to be desired, if I'm brutally honest, but there we go. Anyway, you're able to see all the trees that the woodcutter is able to, is able to, is able to chop down, so that's kind of nice. Let's also grab ourselves a stone masons over, is that really the best area for stone? Sure, I guess it's over here. That's fine. Also, you may be able to see just at the edge of our vision most of the time, uh, there are some little flags. That does indicate exactly where the edge of uh, my territory is. Also, look at these flags that are going to float down as, <laughs> as soon as I unpause. Hilarious. Uh, my, my meeps should get to work building, uh, I hope, fairly, fairly quickly. Fairly quickly, they should get to work on both of the woodcutter's cabin and also the stonemasons. And we should be able to make some progress uh, fairly quickly there. Okay, uh, what was the other thing that we could build? Oh, yes, we could build two more things. The wanderer's cabin. And I think, to be honest, we're just going to build that wherever we possibly can. Maybe... Maybe in here? I do kind of like this... I do kind of like this this selection, uh, the tile selection for, for when you're building. But uh, but there you go. Anyway, uh, so once we once we get this stuff down, 
Once we get this stuff down, it should give us a little bit of intel about the uh, about the tier system here and how we can go about getting ourselves some more some more buildings. Because believe it or not, there are more buildings to explore. There's a whole bunch of locked stuff, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be able to unlock it. I do indeed hope. Uh, we're gonna slow down slow down time just a little bit. Uh, note the Bene, prioritize food supply, farm, before you have no idle meeps left to tend new farms. Okay, I will I will try and do that. Uh, okay, anyway, uh, it's a little, a little interesting here. Uh, so the stonemason's cabin, which is looking rather nice. Uh, we can see that we've got two meeps working, and they've got their little, I guess, little cameras following them around. Uh, we also have, we also have uh, an option to prioritize harvesting uh, stone in any given area and what's actually cool about this and I, I will actually say um, that The way that this game operates is is kind of nice uh, In the sense that each building can undertake certain jobs So at the moment the stonemason's cabin can only harvest rocks However, uh, I know for a fact that the stonemason's cabin uh, is going to be able to unlock the uh, the ability to mine shards, which is which is really really nice. And what we can basically do is that we can is that we can decide whether we want to prioritize uh, rock mining or whether we want to prioritize uh, shard mining. Uh, but we will we will worry about that in just a second. Oh, foreshadowing, foreshadowing. Okay, uh, you may now construct farms, prioritize farms. Wanderer's cabin has been occupied. We need a builder's yard. Okay, I'm I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Okay, uh, let's first and foremost just see if the woodcutter's cabin is looking fine. Eh, it looks okay. Excellent. Yep, stonemason's cabin is looking okay. And the wanderer's cabin is also up and running, and that should theoretically mean uh, that we're just gonna that we're just gonna explore. So I can left click to prioritize an area. I mean, why don't we prioritize down down here maybe? See if uh, see if we see if we do something over there. Let's also get a builder's yard down here. Ooh, okay. So you can actually see the territory that we will that we will claim with this builder's yard. Now, I suspect, I suspect that there is already a builder's yard up here, but that's not necessarily a problem. Let's build a builder's yard over there. And you know what? I'm actually going to zone an additional builder's yard down here. I want to I want to expand and I want to expand fast. Ah, we're not quite in. As you see, we're we're just a little smidgen out. Sure, that is that is still all within. Uh, okay, what else should we do? Well, administratively, we need to we need to try and link up. We need to try and link up the uh, the center of the map to all of the other places. I think at the moment resources just teleport into the stockpile. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but we can build pads. It's just uh, it's just going to take us a little while to get there. We also have the ability to build a farm. That's cool. The builder's yard. Yep, we're we're gonna get the ability to uh, to construct buildings as well. And by that, I mean, I think we'll just be able to build buildings a touch faster. Uh, I think we just built them built them slowly by hand. I don't know. I think we also just gained another person there. Uh, we've discovered a point of interest. We should send some wanderers to survey this point. Okay, that's that's worth noting. Uh, also, this uh, this entire area is is a little bit difficult to understand. Uh, also, it half of it doesn't really seem to matter at this moment in time. So let's let's just ignore it for the time being. Uh, we can also build a farm. We need to build a farm on basically vast empty areas. So I kind of hoped. Really, an unfriendly meep was spotted in the area. Is this none of this area seriously? workable for a farm. I guess that's workable. Right, where's this unfriendly meep? An unfriendly meep over here. Uh, you may now construct a research hub and a leisure hub. Now, uh, how did I unlock that? Ah, yes, I see. So I built a builder's yard. I built a wanderer's uh, cabin, and now we have unlocked the ability to uh, to build uh, to build a research hub. These arrows, again, is, is not super intuitive. A, a normal tech tree would be would be great, but these arrows, I guess, are, are what's going to have to be just lived with for now. Uh, we can also build a leisure hub. Meeps gather around leisure hubs to relax and play with their children. They increase your appeal capacity. Right, which is presumably one of these things up here. Again, I don't think that it necessarily really matters, but there we go. Uh, also, can I... Ooh, exploration and... Uh, where's... 
where's my exploration? Oh, my exploration has, uh, has explored all the way over here. Okay, there's a lot of points of interest. You've discovered sheep in the area, so there's sheep over here. This looks like some wacky flowers. I don't know if that's, don't know if that's noteworthy, but there you go. Oh, sheep. Is that a sheep? That's a cow. Cows in the area. Oh, wow, okay. All right, well, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's get this builder's hub up and running, shall we? I think we, I think we should. Uh, right, we're still working, we're still working, we're gaining a whole bunch of experience, which is always nice. I, I guess I can build a leisure hub. I haven't done that as of yet. We're still working on the farm, which is grand. Uh, that's good. Let's build ourselves a leisure hub. Sure. Build leisure hubs in locations where many other buildings have access to them. An area, yeah, an area right over there seems pretty darn good to me. And let's also build a research hub as well. I'm not really sure where the ideal point for a research hub should be, but I mean, yeah, sure, right up there. That seems that seems pretty darn great. And then let's punt it back into four times speed so that we can let all of this uh, so we can let all of this building work progress at a nice decent pace. Okay, builder's hut is almost finished. Boom, the uh, the border has been redrawn. Did s <laughs> I think a builder just said, I like to build it, build it. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, this is cool. So what's just happened? What's just happened? Let's, uh, let's have a little look at this. We've actually unlocked, we've actually unlocked the, uh, the second ability for the builder's hut. And as it just turns out, it's completely freaking useless because it has no impact in the demo yet. Uh, but roads connect buildings and improve all round efficiency. Uh, which is kind of nice. So we can actually just turn up the priority of uh, of road building if we wanted to. We can leave it on 50-50 for now. Uh, but we're also going to, like, you know, construct a, construct a road between the founder's tile and the builder's yard. Which I think is something that we can do on... Yeah, we can do that on everyone now, right? So let's get... Let's get some... Uh, not quite on the woodcutter's cabin, but that's fine. Okay, uh, now the research hub has been built. We're still working on the leisure yard, but that's fine. Now, this is the interesting thing. This is the interesting thing. Boom, 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 boom. We now have four options available in the stonemason's cabin. And actually, tell you what, there's pretty much four options everywhere. Uh, this is where we need to. This is where we need to decide what our priorities are. So uh, we can actually use the the scroll wheel. To, to tell the video game what the heck we should be doing. Should we be should we pr be providing leisure uh, with uh, with our people uh, and our buildings? I, I don't understand why it's a building specific uh, a building specific order, but there you go. Uh, I think that we're actually going to just try and crank up the research a little bit. Wanderer's cabin. Wanderer needs to be absolutely one hundred set on one hundred percent set on exploration. Uh, stone mining as well. We can also mine shard heaps as well, which is which is pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Also, this little bar outside the, outside the edge, uh, I'm pretty certain means that, uh, we are getting better at doing the skills, and therefore, we're getting more XP. At least I think that that's the case. Your, your guess is kind of as good as mine. Anyway, uh, this is where we're, this is where we're at. We're making progress towards some objectives, but to be honest, we've unlocked most things. Ooh, interestingly, the woodcutters have unlocked the ability to plant trees. I didn't notice that. Let's uh, let's make sure that we've got, yeah. Let's make sure that we've got roughly, yeah, roughly something like that. So we're we're still planting trees a, a decent portion of the time. That seems like a that seems like a good idea, right? Are there any other buildings which I have yet to build? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that we are. I think that we are just fine. Idle meeps and unhoused builders. Do we seriously have ten idle meeps? Surely not. If we have 12 meeps and it says that we've got 10? Right. I, I, okay, I don't understand the mathematics that is supposedly yielding that number, but hey-ho. Let's build another Wanderer, shall we? I feel like that would be pretty beneficial. Exploration does seem pretty important. You may now construct a lookout tower, research completed, scaffolding. Okay. Now, uh, we are currently working on, I guess, guess it doesn't particularly matter what we want to work on. 
we are contributing to the realm. Realm-wide research efforts required. That's fine. Locked for now. I have no idea how we're able to unlock this, but there we go. Uh, we can also set uh, we can also set the wanderers to survey points of interest, which I'm going to do. Uh, I guess we'll just keep on working on bridge building, then pump drill, then a crane. Unlocks bridges, unlocks Lewis lifting tool and a lathe, unlocks a catapult. I mean, why don't we unlock a freaking catapult first? That sounds like a very cool thing to do. Also a lookout tower. Lookout tower should be located between tribal camps and builders yards. This looks like a tribal camp, so Wasn't built in a day. let's let's go then. Wasn't built in the day. They there you go. All right, so I think that we're doing a pretty decent amount of research, to be honest. I'm not super unhappy with the amount of research that we're doing. Certainly, it feels it feels pretty good. Uh, yeah, excess order capacity, the number of additional meeps your realm's level of order caters for. Construct research research hubs to increase capacity. Okay, if you tell me to 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 build <laughs> to build research hubs, I'll build I'll build research hubs. I still don't understand how apparently everyone doesn't have a job. Even though I know for a fact that the stonemason's cabin has got two people working in it, but that's that's fine, I guess. It's totally fine. Uh, let's get you to do a hundred percent survey uh, points of interest. Yeah, I feel like that's actually kind of a an important thing to do, and we'll see if that yields anything. Uh, leisure hub. I would. I didn't really didn't really pay much attention when the leisure hub was built. Oh my goodness, what the heck is happening over here? Oh, uh, yeah, this is the farm. Nice, the farm tiles have been totally transformed. Wonderful. Lookout tower is being completed. Leisure hub is doing absolutely nothing, but I guess that's kind of to be expected. That's fine. We're making good progress towards the, uh, towards the crane. And apparently we're also making good progress towards whatever this is, which I, I presume that this is a, a requirement that is tied to harvesting X number of crops. Don't quote me on that, though. Don't quote me on that. Okay, what does the lookout tower do? Just gives us vision. Is that is that is that it? I think that's it. Right, build a build a road to the to the base. That's fine. Where are our wanderers and what are they doing? Can I get them to prioritize this area? Sure, I'll get them to prioritize this area. I don't know if they're maybe gonna give my these uh, these tribal individuals. I don't know if they're gonna give my my wanderer is a little bit of hassle. But there we go. We got plenty of stone. We got plenty of woods. Uh, I guess we'll build another research hub. You may now build catapults. Now we're freaking talking. Once uh, catapults should be located close to the front left or... F close to the front left or front right edge of the world. Once constructed, it will just keep shooting for demo purposes? <laughs> Look at the size of this thing! Whoa, what on earth? <laughs> it's huge! <laughs> this is the most insanely sized catapult I've ever seen in my life! <laughs> uh, wait, what, what did it say? Uh, the front left or the front right edge of the world? Okay, you know what? We're gonna, I guess we'll try and expand our borders up that way. Uh, there's somebody else over here. I, I didn't truly realize this, but... Uh, sure, I'm gonna build a freaking watchtower somewhere on the edge. Can I, can I build here? Uh, I don't really want to build there. Be nice if I could manipulate the terrain in some way. I've got to assume that that's something which will be coming if it if it's uh, if it's not already in the game and just something that I have yet to unlock. Sure. Okay. Build one over there and also the front right of the map. I, I guess we'll try and build another another builder's den or whatever over here. Sure. All right. I mean, we have plenty of resources. I mean. The stone, the single stone mason's lodge is doing a, a cracking job of, uh, of keeping everything grand. All right, what are we working on next? Uh, a pump drill? 
Oh, hold up. Wait, we can do this. We can do... Uh... We can do winching. Okay, that's that's maybe something that we want to do. Contribute to realm-wide research. Apprentice research hub. Okay, all right. This is this is fine. Uh, let's get another. Oh, wood. Uh, the woodcutters woodcutters lodge can be uh, can be upgraded. Ooh, upgrade to crafter. In the demo, this upgrade just upgrades the building on the map. Does not affect the game yet. You know what? Sign me up. I'll do it. Also, let's get some more research uh, research places. I have absolutely no idea if this is going to make a blind bit of difference. But you know what? Getting more research places might give me more research. Or it might not. That's that's cool too. I don't know why we need such a large area for what is fundamentally just a picnic table. But I, I'm I can I can play along. This is this is fine. There we go. Has the purple, has the purpleness got something to do with this? I have no idea. I have, I have no idea. Okay, build, build more. Sure. Build, build more. Just build more picnic tables. Right, did we discover the sheeps over here? We're still freaking working on it. We're, we're working on it. We're making progress there. Lookout tower has been completed. Excellent. That's very nice. I mean, there's a lot of stuff over here. I have absolutely no idea what we can do about it. I can see that there's lots of joiners. Um, can't use a catapult to attack them. Because that would be sane, wouldn't it? Man, I'm looking forward to building this catapult. What does it take? 200 wood? That's it? It just takes 200 wood? Alright, well, that, that's fine. Uh, yeah. More, more, more research. Remember to set your other buildings. Uh, yes, research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm aware. I'm aware. That's cool. Uh, the farm can maybe do a little bit less leisure, a little bit more research. Prioritize food supply to attract more meeps. Okay, I mean, that's cool, but do I really need more meeps? I'm not even convinced that I do, to be brutally honest. Okay, farmers have, uh, have unlocked their next task. Prepare provisions. Okay, but we can't do that. We can only tend the farm in the demo. Okay, all right, that's, that's fine. I'm, I'm very okay with that. A little bit disappointed to... Provisions are required to undertake long journeys inside the reaches of your realm. Okay, all right. I, I, I am disappointed by that. I am disappointed by that, but, uh, but whatever. Okay. Let's get this pump drill, because, I mean, clearly this game follows, like, no natural progression of, of anything that I've ever seen before. Uh, it, it's wacky. It's really, really wacky. Uh, did we discover these sheeps here? I don't know. I, I, I do not know. Right, we got more research hubs. I'm now pretty much convinced that research hubs mean basically nothing. I also don't know what the heck these other villages are doing. They seem perfectly, they seem perfectly safe. I'll build another builder's yard out here. Again, I am very, very desperate to build this catapult just to see it shooting again and again and again. Let's build another builder's yard over here too. Let's get to it then, indeed. Right, this, this turtle is, uh, is going at a fair speed. All right, let's get a, uh, what is it? Watchtower infrastructure. Watchtower is an infrastructure, of course. Never have get, too many of those. get that over there. Never have too many of those. Four cows have joined my realm. Oh, this is a marvelous occasion. Uh, what the heck am I supposed to do with four cows? There's a new building available. Ooh, look at this. Bridge building is now available. Very cool. Okay, so we can do the winch. Let's let's. I guess we'll work on. I guess we'll work on that, uh, which is fine. Uh, also, I'm now realizing. I'm now realizing that each building has got its own research pool. I think it's completely different, isn't it? Yeah. So the builder's yard unlocks specific things. So we can get you to do that and you to do this. So the lathe. Uh, has now been unlocked as an option for the woodcutters. 
And the Lewis lifting tool is something for the stonemasons. So you know what? Let's go to the woodcutters, which is this building here. Prioritize that. Stonemasons. Prioritize research a little bit. Yeah, that sounds that sounds fine. Place bridges over rivers to allow meeps to cross them. I mean, I need to I need to use that just as something to do. Surely. Uh okay. <laughs> okay. Uh this will have very limited use. Uh, <laughs> okay, so you can use a bridge in very specific circumstances. It's basically totally useless, right? Tell you what, I am discovering rather a large amount of territory. Oh, things get choppy out here. Things get choppy out here. Stonemason's cabin has been upgraded. It's got the ability to be upgraded anyway. Not like it does anything. Builder yard occupied. Yeah, I built that builder's yard. I didn't occupy it. I just I just built it. Ooh, that's a that's a tribal over there, for sure. Build further? Sure. Lookout tower is completed. Any opportunity to build a bridge here? Doesn't really feel like it. Sure. This is the edge of my realm, and yet I somehow suspect, yep, there is no way to cross this little <laughs> this little pond here. That's fine. That's fine. All right. The Lewis lifting tool, we're working on that. The, the lathe, we're working on that too. The winch, we're also working on. Unlocks veneering. Cool. Maybe it's not a central research pool. I have no idea how research works in this game. I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fess up, okay? I have no idea. Uh, you two can work exclusively on research because why the heck would we not work exclusively on research? Uh, also construct the road just because you can. Right. So what the heck did the winch unlock? The winch was a a builder's yard upgrade. I think it might literally have just been an upgrade. I don't think that there's anything else that we can do. Veneering. Okay, get the... Get the Lewis lifting tool and get the lathe done. I don't know which one is being done right now. I suspect maybe the Lewis lifting tool is going to get done first. No, the lathe is... The lathe is currently being done. Okay. Right, still no opportunity to build. Still no opportunity to build anything else. Let's keep on, let's keep on exploring. I feel like if I had some better wanderers, or maybe even if I had more wanderers, can I just build like a whole bunch of wanderers and just set them on uh, exploration? Let's do that, eh? Excellent choice, thank you. I appreciate, I appreciate the compliment. Right, three more wanderers. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? We use up a little bit of wood and a little bit of stone, all of which we have in absolute abundance. Four dogs have joined your realm. Excellent. What the heckity heck does that mean? Absolutely nothing as far as I'm aware. But there you go. Uh, how am I doing for food? I also don't, don't really know. Um, industry progress. I don't know what that means. Information progress. I don't know what that means. Excess capacity for appeal. I think that's created through the leisure hub. Also, that Lewis lifting tool. Yeah, what was that in? That was in... I was in stonemasons. So does that just straight up give us an upgrade? I think it might straight up just give us an upgrade to... I don't know, the speed that stone is mined or something? I, I have absolutely no idea. Now the lathe is being worked on. Then we can do veneering. Right, maybe the lathe is the most useful bit of technology out there, but I, I'm now starting to highly doubt that fact. Oh, nice. Okay, wanderer. Uh, we have we have wandered throughout uh, throughout the land. All of the survey points have been surveyed. Let's get back to let's get back to regular wandering, eh? Let's get back to regular exploration. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Lay the research is completed. This is very exciting. This is very exciting. What does this mean for us? 
Not very much. Not very much. Uh, we'll get veneering. Hmm. Can I? We not have the resources to build this? Oh, we absolutely don't. We do not have the resources to build... Uh, we do not have the resources to build anything else. Cool. Okay. I mean, that's that's good. We're out of people. We're out of people, which is uh, which is interesting. Wanderer's cabin occupied. Excellent news. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so if I increase food prioritization, so if I increase my uh, my farming credentials, then surely that's a good thing, right? Also, this is this is the enemy, I think. Right, wanderer. Yeah, Wanderer's Cabin, Wanderer's Cabin, Wanderer's Cabin. Everyone should be exploring. It's very simple. Okay, so the way to attract people, supposedly, is to is to get more food. I'm not really certain, uh, which... Not really certain what the, what the dealio is with food, but there we go. Builder's Yard has gained enough experience to be upgraded. That's cool. We're just working on veneering at the moment. That's, that's grand. Uh, I think that we're probably gonna trash something here because we need to get we need to get more farms by the looks of it We'll at least queue it up to be built right uh, Gathering we can't even we can't even build it. We can't even build it without uh, without more meeps Right, what do we want to what do we want to trash? What do we want to trash? Wanderers kind of feel like the wanderers are The wanderers are probably the most useless thing Close the window. Uh, <laughs> now this is something that I've not actually. This is something that I've not actually had to consider before. How do I? How do I destroy a building? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't even know how to destroy a building. I don't know how to destroy a building. Um. Just a bit, 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 farm more? Maybe? Resize window? I, I don't want to I don't want to do that. I, I don't really want to do that at all. Um Can I still build my catapult? Yeah, I absolutely can. I don't need people to, to build my catapult. Oh, hold up. What's this shiny thing up here? Is this prime catapult building location? Doesn't look like it. Select an area with more even terrain. Can I actually build this catapult anywhere? It's got to be inside the boundaries of my realm. It's got to be towards the front right. Or front left edge of the world. What am I gonna shoot? Am I gonna shoot the turtle's head? I mean... Probably not, surely. Probably not, I imagine. Also, I am just absolutely dead out of... Uh, I'm dead out of ways to... To recruit more people to my to my realm, as far as I'm aware. Let's get veneering. So that's veneering for the woodcutters. But I don't think that that's going to really translate into any tangible benefits, as far as I'm aware. Uh, Wanderer was unable to find unexplored terrain. Oh. Oh, look. We can now see the... Uh, we were able to see other people's, uh, other people's areas. So there are definitely, like, other civilizations here, which is pretty, which is pretty cool. What they actually do is, is somewhat limited. If only I could get rid of these Wanderer's Cabins. <laughs> Genuinely, I have no idea. I have no idea how to do this. Delete? No, delete just changes the colors of... <laughs> 
<laughs> of course it does. Of course delete just changes the colors. Uh, there is no tutorial in this game, by the way. There is a, a tidy little... There's a tidy little window at the start, which, uh, which, which you saw in the, uh, in the initial, in the initial loading screen, and that's it. Right, upgrade that. Can we upgrade the farm? Maybe, maybe the upgrade to the farm will do something, but, I mean, I sincerely doubt that it can. Um... I mean, if I can't build anything, then I'm, I'm pretty much... I'm pretty much... I'm pretty much out of freaking luck. I, I genuinely... I'm not, I'm not sure what else... Uh, I'm not sure what else we can do. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm literally... I'm literally out of ideas. How on earth does delete... How does delete change the, <laughs> the colors of the roofs? I simply don't believe it. Uh, okay, well, apparently we've run out of farm supply, which uh, which kind of sucks. Uh, sure. I mean, maybe if we prioritize not harvesting the crops, instead prioritize the research, maybe that's going to make a difference. I mean, fundamentally, I'm not actually sure that there is anything else that we particularly need to do, even at the farm, right? Like, if we were able to level the farm, will that make any difference? 100% research required? Yeah, so if we level the farm, if we get a little bit of extra experience, does that give us... Does that give us anything? Uh, we could prioritize the research hub over here. I don't think that that makes any shred of difference, but there you go. I just have no idea. I mean, how, 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 how is it, how is it not possible to destroy a building? I have absolutely, absolutely no idea. This is, um, this is just insane. Uh, okay, here, here's what I'm gonna do, folks. I'm gonna reload the game. I'm gonna see if we can, I'm gonna see if we can see, uh, and some a message, a marker, on the on the the instruction screen. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll see you in a second. Alrighty, folks. Um, as far as I'm aware, uh, news just in. The game has decided to crank up the volume again. Very inconvenient. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I, I genuinely do not think that it is possible. I genuinely do not think that it is possible to delete buildings once that once they are built. Uh, I might be missing something. I, I very much might be missing something. I, I don't know. Uh, my, my options are, are fairly limited. I mean, one of my thoughts was, hey, we'll, we'll you know, prioritize the, the tending farm operation. That doesn't really do anything, uh, in fact. Uh, neither does, uh, neither does trying every single button under the sun to try and Delete buildings? Nope, that doesn't do it. Delete doesn't do it. Enter doesn't do it. I, I Genuinely, I have absolutely no idea uh, what it could possibly be. I, I'm just left to assume that it is not possible. Uh, therefore, it's not really possible for us to build any more freaking... Uh, any more buildings that require people. Thankfully, the catapult doesn't actually require people. Yet, the catapult requires a specific place, which... Catapult requires a specific place, which uh, requires specific people to get to. What about over here? Oh, this is such an ideal area for a catapult. Select an area without roads in the way? Come on. Look at the size of this thing. Look at the size of this thing. How on earth am I going to be able to place this down? I think that the game, the game is randomly generated, right? So, surely it must have spawned with, oh, so close. Surely it must have, sp oh, I saw something. I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw. 
It was there. Go. Let's build this freaking catapult. Oh my lordy. Okay, I never thought that it was possible, but we found somewhere in the realm. It doesn't even look like it's even. It doesn't even... It doesn't even look like it's even. I don't understand. I, do, I don't get it. Uh, right, we're working on our realm-wide research, which is kind of nice. Uh, I have no idea if that means anything. But there you go. Uh, we are going to build the catapult, apparently. And it's going to be done pretty swiftly after we remove the flowers. I don't know who's doing this building, by the way. I guess the builders? I guess the builders from the builder's yard? 100% 100% towards building. Can we turn all of the builders to towards building, please? Prioritize building in this area. Uh, builder's yard. All attention towards builders. Build in this uh, in this area. It's super difficult to tell what a builder uh, what a builder's yard actually is because yeah, you guessed it. Uh, <laughs> all of the buildings look frightfully similar. Uh, oh, it's coming. It's happening. Okay, we can o maybe only assign two. But the the catapult looks like it's going great. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to shoot at. Uh, space looks pretty chill at this moment in time. Which is kind of grand. Um, I think we might be only able to build one catapult. Which is a little bit of a shame. The only other thing that we've yet to build is a, is a river. And I guess I'll build a river because I can. Uh, not like it particularly matters. Has catapult coming along? It's looking, it's looking pretty good for a catapult. I have absolutely no idea how the video game allowed me to build it here and has not allowed me to build it anywhere else. But what can I say? Uh, now I suspect that the way that you probably finish this demo, if I was, if I was a betting man, uh, I would suspect that it's probably reached ten thousand research uh, at the moment. We've got 344 out of uh, out of 10,000 research. <laughs> Look at it go! Look, it's, it's, maybe it's flinging them at the other turtle. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. What's it doing? Build a road. Sure. Why the heck not? Yeah. So I suspect that the way to finish this demo is probably just by progressing the research up to 10,000. Uh, obviously, that's not something that I'm going to do because that's just ridiculous. And um, slow it right down to one time speed. Where is he getting these, these bowls from? I mean, what on earth is it? Who's manning this catapult? It said that we didn't require people to man the catapults. And yet here we are requiring people to man the catapults. Uh, the, it, the catapult's firing tennis balls, apparently. I have no idea. Anyway, um, this is an interesting title. This is an interesting title. I don't think that it is anywhere near uh, ready. Uh, d deleting buildings does seem to be a fairly uh, important mechanic, uh, especially if you don't have enough additional farm supply uh, to, to get going. But certainly, I, I'm very, very intrigued by the idea of building a city on the back of a turtle. And I can only hope that things pan out for this game because I would like to build more cities on more turtles backs at some point in the future uh but for now ladies and gentlemen thank you ever so much for watching my name of course has been open to potato thanks to all the fantastic patron supporters over patreon.com forward slash open to potato thanks to banana -na 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 and aurelio and the 225 plus tier patrons thank you very much for watching folks i'll see you next time bye